Now let's go to the gallery.html page. From the panel on the left side, I select gallery.html. We create the first part of this web page in the same way as the home page. Therefore, I again select the homepage.html page from the panel on the left side. Now select from this first line to the 13th line that finished adding the navigation bar is copied. Now I select the gallery.html page from the panel on the left side. Now we paste the code we copied here. Now let's see if the first part of our gallery page is created with this copied code. Now click on the refresh icon in the previously opened window. Since we have linked the gallery page to the word gallery, we click on the word gallery. Now we are directed to the gallery.html page. Now the first part of our web page has been created. Now let's build the rest of this page. Now enter next to this section close tag and now again open a section tag on the 14th line. Now enter twice next to the section close tag and take the close tag onto the 16th line. Now in the 15th line, open an H1 tag to add the title. Now in the 16th line, I enter the title as Video Gallery. Since the styles related to the titles have already been created, I will not include any formatting here. Now we are going to insert some videos. Since it needs to be lined up the content that I enter on this page nicely, I enter next to the H1 close tag in the 17th line and open a table tag in the 18th line. Because it is no need to show the border of this table, I will not enter the border here. Now enter and come to the 19th line and open the TR tag. Now enter twice next to the TR close tag and take the close tag to the 21st line. Now from the 20th line, I open a TD tag to enter the data. Now the close tag of this tag is taken to the 22nd row. I open a tag called iframe from the 21st line. We are inserting videos to video gallery from this tag. By using this tag, we can link a web page in another place to the web page we are coding now. Otherwise, this tag is used to insert videos on YouTube. Also, we can add a map to our web page. Let's see how to create this tag. Now, inside this iframe tag, I write an attribute called src. Just like in the image tag, we need to enter the source where we are going to insert it from. I have added some YouTube video links at the bottom of this page. Now, inside this iframe tag, I write an attribute called src. We need to apply it here where the source that we are going to enter. I have added some YouTube video links below this page. You can also go on YouTube, select a video of your choice, copy the link of the address bar and paste it where it is called src. Now equals next to the src, open double brackets, cut the first video link below inside it, bring that here and paste it. Now this iframe close tag is brought from the backspace to the 22nd line. After entering next to this td close tag again, I come to the 24th line and open another td. We use the td tags in this way because we want to enter the video in the same line. Now enter twice next to the td close tag and take the td tag to the 26th line. Now in the 25th line, a tag called iframe is opened. Now here, src equals double quotation, copy the following YouTube link also and paste it. Now this iframe close tag is brought from backspace to this 26th line. Now, since we need to add two more videos in the same way, I copy the codes from the 24th line to the 27th line, then come to the 28th line and paste them. Now we have to change the YouTube link. Now copy the link below and paste the copied link instead of this link in the 29th line. Now in this way, I will copy the codes from the 28th line to the 31st line and paste them in the 32nd line. Now copy the YouTube link below and paste the copied link instead of this link on the 33rd line. Now we have finished adding all 4 videos. Let's see a preview. 
Now, we click on the refresh icon in the previously opened preview window. We click on the word gallery. Now we are directed to the gallery.html page. The videos are beautifully embedded on our web page. After entering next to the section close tag in the 38th line, open another section tag in the 39th line. Now here, id equals double quotation, type as footer inside it. Now we have assigned the style we created earlier. Now in the front of this section close tag, I enter twice and take the section close tag to the 41st line. Now in the 40th line, a word called credits colon is given. Now I come to the 41st line and open an A tag. Now I need to enter the official website of NASA after clicking on the URL of the NASA. Click on the plus mark above and open a new window and search for nasa.gov. Now copy the web address of this website that comes up and href equals open double quotation, paste the copied link inside it. Now the word that should be displayed between this tag is given as nasa.gov. Click on the refresh icon in the previously opened preview window. Now we click on the word nasa.gov. Now we are directed to the nasa.html page. Now we have finished preparing this page.